Have you ever wondered why you are the way you are? It became very clear to me I was chain smoking outside a charity gala in Paris, wearing a beautiful gown that I had borrowed. I can't go back inside, I thought to myself. Who do I think I am? I could overhear the guests speaking about their vacations in Italy. I wondered if they knew where I came from, or if they even cared. I was raised where the sand is black with coal and the people are focused on who you are, not who you're wearing. I began singing from the early age of five. I remember my first show was at a local theater in my hometown called the Savoy. I sang with this big choir, The Man in the Deeps. I moved to Los Angeles when I was around 20. I was discovered and I got my first big record deal. From that moment on, I thought everything was going to be perfect. But it wasn't. I spent years shelved. I didn't release music. I was shuffled around from person to person at the label. I remember walking in the front door at Interscope, and they didn't even know I was an artist. No one knew who I was. It was my first real understanding of the sad part of the music industry that so many people were signed and nothing happened to them. Most of the people that I got signed with, uh, I don't think are even doing music anymore. Five years after moving to LA, I found myself pretty far from my dreams. I was living in a volatile, unstable environment, hanging out with the wrong people, Things went from bad to worse when my best friend was murdered in 2014. I was hopeless and determined to find my way back to music. I started writing again in the studio one day. I crossed paths with a French producer that would change the course of the next chapter of my life. I've been sitting at the piano writing melancholy music since I can remember. I never really used those demos. I felt more comfortable trusting the producers I worked with over the years than myself. But now it was time to do what I was most afraid of. What do you have to do? I was always a particular combination of insecure meets confidently driven. I would assume most people that would go after their dreams with such exertion wouldn't still be battling themselves. When I was ready to start recording, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I sat in the studio for what felt like days, unpressured by time. I recounted stories and records from my upbringing, from Alison Krauss, Fleetwood Mac, Twin Peaks, even songs I remember hearing at hockey games when I was a teenager. There's no detail too small to explore. Normally, I write lyrics that can be interpreted in numerous directions. However, these lyrics are very direct, 
This music is the most personal. Every instrument is live and every story is my own. K-Town is challenging for me to explain because I'm still working through the shame around this chapter of my life. Lines in the junkyard, but I know those parts are still a part of me. I wrote this song as a bit of an anthem to myself to acknowledge the hard times without victimizing. I started working as an escort after a producer I was working with suggested it would be a good idea for me to make ends meet while living in LA. I was given some random man's number and he advised me to meet him down at the Denny's parking lot in K-Town. A man in a van full of other girls picked me up and proceeded to go from bar to karaoke bar, lining up, waiting for a man to eventually buy me for the night. And if I had the chance, I know I'd do it twice. Used to go to the second verse of this song talks about my first encounter with abuse in the music industry. I was mentally and sexually abused by a mentor when I was a teenager. I was manipulated to think that he was the only one who believed in me and would make my dreams come true. I felt him watching me when I was on stage. This experience has left a mark on my confidence during a very foundational time of my life. I want people to hear my story and know that they're not alone. At some point, someone needs to stand up for what's right. If I can be that for one person, it could heal me. I used to always say the hurt people hurt people, but now I can see that healed people heal people. The reason that I've decided to be so honest about my life and story, even though maybe there's some shame around it, is because I've noticed hearing other people's story that when I see myself in someone else, I feel less alone. If you could change your name, where you were raised, get a better education, would you turn that page? If you could break away from your reputation, Start over again Would you, would you A friend of mine, she said Things could change Maybe this time I don't have to run away Nobody likes to be told who they are My name is Goldie Petillier. I'm a Canadian singer-songwriter. I was raised on the music of Tammy Wynette and Dolly Parton. This album is a cinematic exploration of tragic romance, glamour, and melancholy. So that's oh. rap. Rap. <laughs>